Hello mga kabalero and this is the last part of our IEEE paper publication video series and we are now moving on to the discussion of the guidelines and things to remember in using the IEEE manuscript template. Please bear with me, this is a bit lengthy because we have different approach for conference papers and also for journal papers. So let's get started. So the purpose of a manuscript template is to provide a consistent format for papers appearing in either journals or conference proceedings. IEEE manuscript templates contain guidance text for composing and formatting papers. Please ensure that all guidance text is removed from your paper prior to submission to conferences or journal. So, the steps to obtain the manuscript templates for journals and conferences are done in different ways. So I have uh, I have I will be discussing a different approach for journals and conferences because it is a very different um, process. Now you can access the IEEE Author Center page to download the templates depending on which track you are about to pursue. So to find the right IEEE article template, this is for journals, your target publication or each publication type has their own article template. And make sure you follow the succeeding steps to be able to download the correct template for your selected journal. Click the download a template icon from the journal authors page and you will be prompted with the link to the IEEE template selector to find the template that you need. You have to select the first option from the three publication types. Next is to type the title of your target journal for a transaction or a letter publication and select the correct option from the drop-down menu. The next step is to select the article type by clicking the original search button. Select the file format, and, the, and in this example, we have selected Word document or Word format. Next is download the template by clicking the download button. Make sure to use the template when writing the, the research article for the selected IEEE journal in Word format. Go to your download folder to access the template. Now, to download manuscript template for conferences, Navigate through the IEEE Author Center and go to the Conference Authors section. This is a different uh, page where we will be selecting or we will be downloading our manuscript template. This time, this is for the conference papers. So click the Download a Template icon to proceed. The link to the authoring tools and templates will populate on your screen. Click the IEEE Conference Templates link to download the latest IEEE manuscript template. So the list of templates will appear and select the desired template format for your paper. The usual MS Word paper type is A4. Click the hyperlink to automatically download a template. So if you prefer other document type, please feel free to select from the available options. So in this section of this presentation, we will be discussing the generic structure of our paper. This is not only for journals. This is not only for conference papers. This is the general um, structure of either paper, uh, conference paper or a journal paper. And these are the contents. We will begin our discussion with the title. So for the title, aside from what is flashed on the screen, use the keywords and short phrases to describe the, the article's content in as few words as possible, not too lengthy uh, for the title. Avoid terms as new or novel since the reader already knows that your research is a new and worthy for publication. So next component, important component is the authors. So IEEE considers individuals who meet all the following criteria to be authors. Number one is you made a significant intellectual contribution to the theoretical development, a system or an experimental design, 
you made a prototype development or an analysis and interpretation of data associated with a work contained in your article. Number two, you contributed to the drafting of article or reviewing or revising for intellectual content. And number three, approved the, the final version of the article as accepted for publication, including references. And this usually happens if there are multiple authors. So your approval is necessary. For the abstract, this is one of the important components of the paper. Abstract is, or to have a powerful abstract, you have to be self-contained without abbreviations. You have footnotes, references, or you have mathematical equations and tables. Number two, highlight what is noble, novel in your work. So what is the component of a powerful abstract? Number one, abstract should be self-contained. There must not be abbreviations or there must not have any abbreviations, footnotes, references, mathematical equations, or tables on your abstract. In your abstract, you have to highlight what is novel on your work and use strong keywords or phrases that describes the research to help the readers find your article. And we mentioned, already mentioned keywords. Now we move on to keywords. So using the IEEE thesaurus, we can help you, the, or IEEE can help you find the best standardized keywords to fit your article. Use the thesaurus to access the request form for free access to the IEEE thesaurus. And using the right keyword in your article, you can make your article more easily and reliably discoverable. Now, moving on to the introduction. So in, in for the introduction, introduce your topic as our first step. The first job of the introduction is to tell the reader what your topic is and why it's interesting or important. Number two, you have to describe the background, the problem. And how are you going to resolve that problem? You have to establish, this is number three, you have to establish your research problem, making sure that the root cause of the problem is being tackled. Step four is to specify your objectives. What is your objective of dealing with this problem? And number five, map out your paper, including your resolution on how to solve the problem and also the methodology on what are you going to do to uh, make sure that the problem is being taken care of. Next step, the methodology. So you first introduce your methods. Number two is to establish methodologic, you, you have to establish methodological connection, meaning you will incorporate or enumerate the steps and also what is being done to be able to resolve the problem that you have mentioned in the introduction. Next is introduce your instruments. Four, discuss your analysis. And five is to discuss your sampling process. For the equations, this is an exception to the prescribed specification of the template. You will need to determine whether it is uh, whether or not your equation should be typed using either Times New Roman or symbol font, and pl please do not use other font. So to create multi-level equations, it may be necessary. This is a suggestion to treat the equation as a graphic and insert it to the text after your paper is styled. Equations which are not formatted properly is mess is messy on your on your paper because it will appear on different portions if you hit enter. That's what I experienced when I am creating my paper uh, template. Now, for the results, make sure you include details about your data analysis and interpretation. So you also have statistical significance test. It's part of your results. 
So report the statistical insignificant research findings for your academic article's credibility. Use the past tense. This is important. Use past tense when describing your research result. The next is tables and figures. If we have equations, we have tables and figures. And figures can show data trends or other visual information. Tables are best to use when the exact values are important. Now, moving on to the discussion. A good discussion section includes analysis of any unexpected findings. There is a wow factor if you are going to show a show the unexpected findings on the discussion. And this paragraph shows or should begin with a description of the unexpected finding, followed by a brief interpretation as to why you believe it appeared. And if necessary, it's, impos it's possible significance in relation to the overall study. We have the acknowledgement. And this section is usually optional, but quite common for researchers to mention some uh, some people to acknowledge as part of the uh, completion of the research paper. And we have the references. So for the reference section, it is important because all scientific and technical research builds upon previous work and references help give proper credit and attribution to the preceding body of work. Now, I will flash on my screen um, the template uh, contents and the major contents of the IEEE journal and also the conference ma uh, manuscript template. Uh, but I will not discuss it further because I've already shown you or provided you the general approach of the structure or the contents of the paper in general. Now, just to give you the uh, differences between the formatting for the manuscript template of a journal and also for a conference. I will just flash them on the screen as reference. Notice that we have a lot of guideline highlights for the journal. Now, moving on to the conference template guidelines. This is how it goes. Here are the highlights. And that's it. So this is the end of this video or this video series. I hope uh, you are able to learn uh, most of this, the processes or the steps to be able to submit a publication paper successfully. And also, if you are looking for uh, for conferences, make sure to use IEEE conference list so that you have you can select the appropriate conference fit to your title or to your proposed study. So uh, congratulations if your paper is already accepted. Uh, please wait if it's still pending for approval from, from the peer review process and make sure you have patience in terms of the publication process because sometimes the th uh, six weeks time is uh, is a bit shorter for them to publish your paper to uh, the IEEE Explorer and also the indexing side, um, for example, in Scopus. So thank you so much for listening. I hope this video helps a lot to your venture in your research. Thank you so much and goodbye.